Okay guys, so this is a tutorial on how to build Floater by itself and you just open Substratum, that's your first choice and the first thing you want to do is of course pick if you want a dark theme or a white theme and I'm going for a dark one but if you're going to go for a white one you should always go into your settings, display and take away the dark theme if not so just open Floater and here you go one layer by one layer so we start with Android system pick your accent and go from there so go with the blue one for example I like the OS, OOS blue oxygen OS blue so I go for that there you go and then you pick your header size you don't have to you can of course keep the one that's original in your um, ROM but I normally go for the no one or the double size but you can choose quadruple or triple that's all up to you and then you just go for your roundness either low mad normal or oval the one you see that I have is the called normal and then you can have mad it's like this one you see in the volume panel here it's totally round but you choose whatever you want to and if you don't like it just test another one so then we go for the normal one and now you pick a gradient you have a lot of gradients colors you can choose between but if you're like a guy you don't like gradient or anything like that you can choose gradient void color that one gradient void accent color and then you will only get your accent color mm -hmm. through the system and not any gradient at all but since I'm going with gradient and I have a blue color I think light blue blue is a nice one so now we have our first layer click the button and build the layer when you're done go back and go back in I do this because it's quicker but you can of course choose the default once again and start over and now we're gonna go for the background color so I'm gonna go with black and since we're building floater by itself I'm gonna go with black as fuck because that's the, the good one because if you go with system you normally don't get black all the way around well and it depends about your ROM and I'm gonna go with evolution 4.0 so that's why I'm gonna go with black as fuck and now we build that one as well and when you're done with building you're gonna go with one more of course because you only started now we're gonna choose the notification style so at the moment I'm go I'm using the one called outline bottom gradient this is the one you can see right here and you can choose from custom outline accent and all the way down to outline void so choose one of these the one you like and then you we build it and then on to the next part we're gonna go for the progress bars I like this style that you see here the, with the thick one without a thumb so that one is called custom progress bar descendant style and then we build that one as well and then we're gonna go with the thumb style I'm gonna go with void that means it's gone so there's no thumb, thumb ring or sun or whatever and then we build this one as well and then we continue with the volume so from here on you can choose what kind of volume you want the one I'm using right now is called round mad outline gradient and of course you can go all the way down to here and choose oval um, custom volume or you can choose a different style uh, with different kind of uh, roundness but I'm going to choose the one I have at the moment and then we build it and then I think we're done yep then we're done so then we can continue to the next step 
So if you want some cool setting I sec settings icons, I'm sorry, then we go with Digital Wellbeing and Google Play Services, and then we choose some of these. It's all up to you which one you choose. I'm going to go with the new ones that I just added. It's Material Tone. And then remember you choose that from er every single thing and not just one of them. And Settings Icons. There we go. So now I have Settings Icons checked. I have OnePlus Settings checked. But that's not for all. That's only my device or OnePlus devices. Then you have Google Play services checked and digital well-being. So now we can build those. Build and install. Okay, so then we're done with settings icons. Then we can go to system UI. And then we're going to go all the way to up at the top and choose custom notification. If this doesn't work, you go with the other one called custom mm -hmm. notification workaround force close or FC. And what this does is allow you to have custom notifications themed, like this one. So this is, is important. Then we build it. Okay, so then we go with something else. We want the cool power menu, you can see right here, and the volume. So then we are going to go with this one called 4Q Custom Volume Power Menu. And then we build that one as well. But as you can see, I don't have any backgrounds um, around my icons or the different types you can see. Power off, restart and advanced. That's because we need one more layer. And that one is called Custom Power Menu Background Transparent 4Q. So that one. And we build that one as well. And then, as you can see, I'm using something else that's not Flutter at the top. So we're going to go with something cool right here in the system UI. At the bottom, there we go, you can choose different kind of QS panel styles. You have um, gradient border, no top, uh, gradient border, uh, double, or bottom, or whatever. But you can see that what I use is the bottom outline gradient. So that's what I'm going to choose. QS panel, background, outline, bottom, gradient. And then we'll build that one as well. Okay, so now we're done. And then we go over to the logos. When you build it, you're going to have a moon or a sun or something in the middle here if you don't do this. So if you forget this layer, this is the one you forgot. So I always choose none because I don't want it to be anything in the back or at the top because I have headers built in in my ROM. So then I'm just going to go with star logo none and sun logo none and then just choose a logo because why not. And Evo X accent star, check it and build. This is if you don't want a logo or anything in here or at the top. So let's say that you want a logo in the middle of the QS panel, then you're going to go for the logo panel called Sun, choose the size, medium, and choose the position of it, middle, bottom, and then build that. But I'm going to go with none, so yeah. And then we're going to do something else, because you can see at the top of my, pl of my QS panel I have a color. You can do all different kind of styles in Flutter. You can go here in the system UI headers, and go all the way at the bottom. Then you can have QS header style accent, black, gradient accent, half gradient accent, transparent, uh, an image, or full star. Yeah, you have lots of different stuff at the bottom. But I suggest gradient accent or half gradient accent. That's all up to you, but those are pretty cool. And then we build that one as well, of course, if you need that. And then we're going to go up here to the uh, UI QS tile icons. And then we're going to go with brightness bar descent style because that's the one we have right here. And we build that one as well. 
and then we go with the void thumb for OOS. This one is the one that always works. Well, that's what I've actually, <laughs> that's what I've seen. The other one works sometimes if you have a different theme or whatever, but that one always works. So then we okay. build that one as well. And then we're gonna go with more, of course. We want some cool stuff. So then we go for Q, AOSP, allow custom QS shape, build that one. And then if you want, you can see my tiles are black active. You can choose either black or accent or white. But we're gonna go with black this time, build and install. And then you can choose your dedicated style. The one that I use right here is called Cookie for All. So let me just go down to Cookie for All. Here you go. QS Tile Shape Cookie for All. And build that one as well. And that should be everything. But if you want something else like custom QS Tile icons or whatever, you can go all the way at the bottom and choose one of these if you want to. So now what's left is reboot your device. And then when you're done rebooting your device, you go to Manager in Substratum, and you just click this one, and that one, and enable all. That should be it. Peace mm -hmm. out.